Junie B. Jones is almost a flower girl. Written by Barbara Park. Chapter 3 Being a Grown Up Lady. At dinner time, I told Daddy about what happened on the playground. And guess what? He said the same dumb thing as Mother. You're way too young to have a boyfriend, Junie B, he said. It's nice to have Ricardo as a friend, but little girls should be footloose and fancy free. I covered my ears when I heard that. Quit saying that about my feet, I said. I don't want loose feet, I tell you. I want grown-up feet just like Mother has. Just then, Mother looked to Daddy. I think someone is S-L-E-E-P-Y, she spelled. I did a mad breath at her. Yeah, only guess what? I'm a grown-up lady, and grown-up ladies know how to spell. And so I am not one bit slippery, so there. Then, Mother did a chuckle. Only I don't know why. After that, she got me down from the table. And she took me in the bathroom. And she filled up the tub for my bath. She put lots of bubbles in the water. Also, she gave me bath toys and a washcloth puppet. I gave them right back to her. These things are for babies, I said, and I am all grown up. Suit yourself, said Mother. After that, she sat down on the floor, and she watched me sit in the bubbles. I sat and sat and sat. See me, mother? See how I am just sitting here? I said. When grown-up ladies take a bath, we just sit in the water. And we don't splash. And we don't play with baby toys. I sat and sat some more. Then, finally, I did a big sigh. Because I was bored out of my mind, that's why. I patted the bubbles a little bit. Sometimes grown-up ladies pat the bubbles, I said. It is not the same as playing. Mother smiled. I picked up some bubbles and put them on my arms. Bubbles are good for ladies' skin, I said again. They make us very smoothy. I put bubbles on my face and a chin. Sometimes grown-up ladies enjoy making a bubble beard, I explained very serious. After that, I covered my whole entire self with bubbles. Hey, it is very fluffery in here, I said real happy. Mother laughed. You look like a bride in a long white veil, she said. Then, all of a sudden, her whole entire mouth came open. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you the good news, didn't I? She said. Your Aunt Flo called today, and she said she's getting married. Mother clapped her hands together. Aunt Flo, Junie B, Aunt Flo is getting married. Isn't that exciting? You're going to go to your very first wedding. After that, Mother smiled real big, and she hummed a pretty bride song, and she danced with my towel. And so guess what? Getting married must be a very big deal. Chapter 4 Flower Girls the next day at recess, I sang the Pretty Bride song. I sang it to my bestest friends named Lucille and that Grace. Here comes the bride, 
all dressed in white. Her name is Clyde, and she reads TV Guide. That Grace looked at admiring at me. Wow, I never even knew that song had words, she said. Of course it has words, silly. Every song has words, I said. All you have to do is make them up. After that, I skipped all around those two. And I sang the song some more. Guess why I'm singing this bride song? I asked. Guess, people. Guess, guess, guess. I couldn't wait for them to guess. Because I'm going to my first wedding ever. On account of my Aunt Flo is getting married. That's why. Lucille clapped her hands, real delighted. A wedding, a wedding. I love weddings, Junie B. Are you going to be the flower girl? Huh? Are you? Are you? I wrinkled my eyebrows. The what? I asked. The who? The flower girl, the flower girl, said Lucille. The flower girl is the very first person to walk down the aisle at the wedding. She gets to carry a flower basket, and she throws beauteous flower petals all over the floor. It's really fun, too, Junie B, said Grace. I was the flower girl at my Aunt Lola's wedding, and I got to wear a long satin dress, and I only tripped two times. Lucille fluffed her fluffy hair. Yes, well, I've been the flower girl in three weddings, Grace, she said. And I've worn three long satin dresses, and all of them had matching purses and shoes and hats. Plus, one of them had a blue fake bunny fur cap. And I never tripped at all. So that makes me the best flower girl, probably. Grace's face drooped a teeny bit. Oh, she said kind of soft. After that, Lucille asked me a million more questions. What kind of a flower girl dress are you going to wear, Junie B? Huh? Is it going to be long or short? What color will it be, do you think? So far, I have worn yellow and pink and blue. She tapped on her chin. Hmm, I wonder what kind of flower petals you will carry in your flower basket? Tell your Aunt Flo that I prefer rose petals. All of a sudden, Lucille did a gasp. Junie B, Junie B, I just thought of something. Maybe Grace and I can teach you. We can teach you how to walk down the aisle and carry the basket. Want us to, huh? Want us to teach you? I jumped up and down. Yes, I said. Of course I want you to, Lucille. After that, Grace cheered up very much. Then all of us did a high five. And we skipped in a happy circle. And we practiced being flower girls.